Hi, hello and welcome to another session with your designer by design. We all know Christmas is fast approaching and a few kids from the neighborhood asked me if I can draw a seasonal greeting. So I invited them home, asked them what they would like to see in the greeting and created the slide live with these little kids. It was an awesome experience for me, but due to privacy concerns, I had to avoid the audio from the live session. But here I'm going to share the techniques that I used to make the slide. The first thing that they wanted me to draw was, of course, a Christmas tree. I started with a triangle and using the edit point features, I added a little curve to the triangle. It was snowing outside here, so the kids preferred it to be painted white. Then I made a few copies of the curved triangle, made it a little big to form the tree layers. And finally, added a rounded rectangle for the trunk. I also created another tree by merging the three triangles using the merge shape feature. Next, we needed a background for the slide. So I showed them how to create a landscape with many Christmas trees. I used the curve draw tool and drew a landscape and also showed them how to use the edit point features again to reshape the border. To remove the area that's outside the slide, I used the merge shape menu and used the subtract command. Then I set the background sky with gradient color feature. Okay, so now we have the background set. The next thing that the kids wanted on the slide was reindeer and Santa. And they wanted them to be flying. I knew it's gonna be time consuming to draw, but I did not want to disappoint them. So I told them I will draw a very simple version of the reindeer and the Santa Claus. With the curve tool, I drew the reindeer's horn. And then made a copy and flipped it vertically. Then drew three circles, one for the nose and the other two for the eyes. To make them shining, I drew small circles and placed them inside the eyes and the nose. I wanted to show you another technique for a shining ball. To do that, select the circle and choose bevel shape effects. Here increase the width and height of the top and the bottom bevels to convert the circle into a 3D ball. Now you can 3D rotate the ball and change the material type for a natural shine. By looking at the ball, the kids wanted to have hanging ball decors. So I made copies of the balls and painted it in different colors. Drew the connectors using a rounded rectangle and painted them using a gradient feature.
and finally connected them with a line from the top of the slide. At this moment, one kid reminded me about the Santa. I know it's, it's again time consuming, so I told them I'm going to draw just the Santa's cap. Santa's hat can be drawn with three shapes. First, a rounded rectangle, then a diagonally cornered rounded rectangle and a circle, all painted in red with a white border. I thought it's finally ready, but the kids had more in their mind. They asked me, how can the trees and the land be white without a snowfall? And they wanted me to show as if snow is falling. Smart kids, right? For the snowfall, I drew little circles, painted it white and gave them a smooth edge and a glow all in white. I replicated the circles in different sizes and placed them all over the background. But this one little princess don't want the circles and wanted me to draw a snowflake. I could not say no to her, so I drew one. The good thing about snowflake is it comes in different shapes, so I drew a design of my own. Once done, I made few copies of the snowflake and placed them around. While this is all coming to an end, there came two little kids who joined my live session and they are so excited to see this and since they missed all this fun, they wanted me to draw something and they came up with an idea to draw a penguin. I said, all right, kids, let's wrap up this seasonal greeting with a penguin around the pond. Finally, they all agreed to that. So I started off drawing a pond with two circles and tilting them over a little bit. Then I removed the excess shape outside the slide using the merge shape and subtract command and went on to draw the penguin. For the penguin, I used rounded rectangles, circles and triangles, all painted in black and white. And finally, adding the eyes, nose and the feet. I made copies of the penguin to make them as a penguin family. The kids loved the penguins. Finally, adding the text. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Hope you liked this video. For more such useful videos, subscribe to Designer by Design.